com- mm. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't want to get into the history of the pod or the comments that you're getting on the <laughs> you're pod. You're getting Just, into the history. I don't. I don't want to. I was about to ask, and then you did the, you did the clap. So. No, now, yeah, now we started. This is it. This is it? Yep. It's good to just get Do I look on. at the camera? You could do whatever you want. You could look at the camera. You could look at Tom. Look at me. Don't look at me. That's a rule that I have about this podcast. Don't look at me. Don't look at Tom. Um, well, you're, you're uncomfortable. You were rocking and rolling. We were telling some minority jokes a minute ago. Oh, I man. Know. I'm just stressed now. We were talking about all the groups. What's there to be stressed about? Because then this is the pod. Yeah, this is it. We're, I, I we're, can't do a do-over. We're going. I didn't even see that. It is what it is. Do have people comment on that? That's good. Well, not a lot of people have come here, Tom. No? No. no Taylor Yarish, Mike Bramante, uh, Max Benelli. Good, that's good crew. It. I mean, that's a, that's a classic white girl sign. Yeah, but it's also good for people that sound like me. It is. What yeah, sign? You know? But it is what it is. It is what it but is. But I mean, they, they, the people can't see that. I know. This has to be cut now. We got to start over. Okay. Nope. And w- what if I turned the camera just... What if you close your eyes this whole pod? <laughs> You're like the kid from uh, Big Daddy. If I just give you a pair of sunglasses, will that be okay? Can I feed you ketchup packets? Is that what you want for lunch? <laughs> I'm feeling the riff game coming. You're thinking, you're thinking too much about it. You need to smoke. I need to smoke what? Weed. Yeah. I already did. Oh, fuck. Maybe you, you should stop. If you're this We just came anxious. from a hot mic. Yeah, I couldn't tell. that You, you, you weren't high for that. Yeah, you're right. So someone is having a Jesus way better time than us. Jesus Christ. There's a live cheering. Okay, so I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so tell I me about remember. this. What, give me a give me a uh, what the story that we couldn't oh. talk about because we were waiting to. Yeah, so give me the story you were. You're gonna like this story. Okay, fill me in. Do you? I mean, where do where where do we even start? Jason and I Sweating. got Jason and I hung out last weekend and got fried chicken. Thank Wait, can I invite. start? Can we start the thing over? I don't want to tell people that I smoke weed. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they're going to know this whole episode. Everything about you. <laughs> suggests First off, no, the way you're it's sitting. Le- also, it's, it's legal in New York now. Who's going to find out about this? Amazon Web Services? No, I, I, don't, th- I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. Jason, have better posture and people won't believe you. Have you seen him with good posture? No. He's so handsome. I'm sure he's so tall. Like he's he's like three inches taller than he's already seven feet tall. I think you're eight, you'd be eight feet tall if you stood up straight. I can't do it. I know. Yeah, I can't talk to people. You're too yeah. far what away. Because then I'm too far away. I have to I have to slouch down to even look at somebody uh, in the see, eyes. See, when we were on the subway here, I thought about that because I was standing up and you were sitting down, and we were like what a, a head, like a foot and a half apart. Yeah. And I kept having to be like what, and I wasn't even. Like you and your girlfriend, I don't even know how you talk to each other. He's through a tin can. <laughs> a string, a string and tin yeah. can. She's actually in another state. <laughs> she shoots a, f- <laughs> she shoots a flare when she's ready to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke signals. <laughs> Just yeah. flapping a blanket over a fire. She's a very short woman. She is. But him standing up tall, I feel like we could do like a makeover. Like a, a what's that show? The queer eye for the straight guy. Queer eye for the straight guy. But the whole show is just you standing up straight. Well, it's, a, it's a <laughs> <laughs> They get you new clothes. And they're like, no, that's not it. They cut your hair. That's not it. No, it's an unnerving feeling because when I stand up straight, I'm walking down the street and I'm like, then I just, I don't see anybody anymore. Right. So then I'm like, I'm alone. I'm like alone. You're alone. I'm alone. So I like look down to me. Oh, there's people underneath me. See, you don't feel even more isolated looking down at everyone like, oh, hello, everyone. Hey, hello, people Ooh, from below. Move out of the way. No, we should no, mention you're that right. Jason is, what are you, 6'8"? Yeah, I'm 6'8 and three-fourths. I say I'm 6'9". People don't believe me. Really? Here's, no. here's an interesting, have you talked about this? If this is hack, then I, we don't need to get into it. But taller people can't tell how tall shorter people are. Like I, I played baseball with a guy who was like six seven, and we had him guess everyone's height on the team, who were not as tall as him, and he was off by like four inches. He thought I was like five seven. No, he's just doing that because he he, he can't. It's a, it's almost like a hate crime if he if he like shorts you, on height. Is that no what no he was shorting him. He was just short him. <laughs> yeah yeah. Do you tall hang out with other tall Height-ism? people? It's like all, the, all these shorties. Just yeah, we get out. together. There is a tall game. A tall game. Yeah. With tall people? Yeah, it's a very subtle game. You see another tall man out in the wild, 
you walk next to them and you just see who wins. And there's no, that's it. It's like an unspoken thing. It's like that curb your enthusiasm bit with the bald. Okay. People. Like who doesn't mention that you're both tall? Like, is that the game? Like, you don't say like, ah, hey, look at us. It's just, no. uh, it's a hide off. Yeah, it's, it's very, very yeah, it's very like, you know, uh, mid 18th century English. It's unspoken, you know. See, here's another thing about height. Like, what do you think is a tall person? Because for a oh, guy. That's a good question. Because like I, I my number is different than Rich's. What, your what number. I, I don't really think about it. Let's all say it at the same time. Jason, Jason's six, nine. So you don't think about it. What's a short person? I'll, I'll inverse that question. And if you're in the fours, I think you're. I think you're short. I mean, no one's going to disagree no one's with you. Disagree. I think that's doctors call that I'm medically short. Medically, yeah, you're a midget. I think you can be four nine and not a midget. I don't think that. I don't think person. medically, that's correct. I want to cut off for little. Call people. us in if that's true. Callers, readers, all the readers reading this podcast. That's I said right. that the last two times. So yeah, I feel like and it's a, guess what? Everyone didn't mention it. So. Did, oh man, what the was weird part about height. The weird part about the height thing is it's just not what the average is. Because if you just, if you like, if you took like a saw that just went across the world and just cut everybody's. Why do you have to make it into this? But you're asking you why you're not a good saw? host. You're asking why you're not a good host at these nobody shows. Nobody knows that I'm not a good host. You told me that. I know I told you, but nobody knows. You, you should do an intro about. He's a great host. He thinks he's not good. And I say it's because. No, Apple's a good host. Someone called me the other day and told me Troy's in his head about the hosting. Who told you? I mean. Who's the only person there's that's actually the host in the past like fucking five years? One of our. <laughs> <laughs> was it him? It was not. You just told me this. I wouldn't have called Rich in between the time that we're getting pizza and now when I was with you to tell. You guys got pizza too? You got After fried the mic. chicken and pizza. Last weekend we we got fried chicken. We didn't mean to go get fried chicken. We were just well, Tom, let me ask you a question. How does it feel to be per, like just perfect height? Like an ideal, in the ideal Tom, range? Yeah, you got a good height. You think so? You got like. What are you, 6'2", six, 6'3"? Six, uh, six, six foot. Like. Almost six one. Yeah, that's a that yeah. I wanted Good to be height. I wanted to be six two, so to me I failed. I think anything above six four, see, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. I think six three is the perfect height. I, I would disagree you. with that. Six three. Oh man, where would I be? That and hair. Same. Pl- oh well, with hair. Well, I've done. Oh my! I mean, you got the hair is just misallocated. It's all on my back. Yeah, and my butthole, ladies. I think if oh. I, if I I think if I go bald. <laughs> <laughs> what lady would like that? <laughs> Ladies, butthole, hair, <laughs> any takers? You'll, it's a rat's nest. Readers? <laughs> you'll find your way in, you'll never find your way out. <laughs> There's three girls in there, three Asian girls in there from uh, last uh, from 2017. <laughs> They're still trying to weed whack their way out. <laughs> but you were talking about the okay. hosting you, thing. Can we get back to wait, that? Wait, are we talking Why? about the fried chicken? Are we going to talk about the hosting? We're all over the place and it's fine. But we, you talked about how you want to be better at hosting, stick. and you made this analogy where everyone's head gets cut off. It's a morose, right off the bat. Yeah, but you didn't let me even finish the point. Go ahead. Finish it. The saw comes off, cut off, cuts off everybody, and then there's only little people left. Oh. They're not little people anymore. They're just the people. Yeah, it's relative. That's what I'm saying. This height shit is insane. It's just re- relative to the average. Yeah, I, I went to Japan and I was the tallest person in the entire country. I uh, I don't know what you want me to say. I can't really contribute to this conversation. What, how tall exactly are you? How tall are you? Five, five eight. Nine. I'm extremely average. You're right. I think five eight's the average, right? Is it? I think it is. Oh, it's five nine. I think it's five eight. <laughs> See, I wouldn't consider. Hey, you're yeah, you're average height. I'm an average height. That's good. Fine. It's fine. I'm not. I just don't want to be short. You can't be short. If five you're a guy. five yeah. seven. Ugh, it's bad. If you're if you're like a, sh- a short guy, a short guy's t- short ball guy, <sighs> tough. You just don't want your height to be a part of your life. It can't be your identity. Yeah, and that's that's a that that's difficult for me. Yeah, yeah. Height is a big part of my life, which is kind of dumb because it's just a me- it's just a measurement. It's just a measurement. But isn't the way all of us look our identity? I mean, that's. I guess that's true too. Like my baldness is not so much anymore. The older I get, it's becoming more common though at your age. Exactly. Would you say? But that? I've been this bald since I was like twenty-one. Well, I'm supposed to go bald. I think if I go bald, that's it. I just mom's gonna, dad. My mom. My mom's dad. Yep. Yeah. Mom's dad. Bald, every year it's bald. more acceptable for me to be this bald. That's every year I get. It's more more normal. It's great. You can at least grow a beard. I can't grow facial hair. You can't. Uh, that's true. But you have a good head of hair. I know, but it's, it's, it's not going to go. It's not going to go. See, great hair. If you stood up straight, 
Got like a cool haircut. Remember when you were in the market for a top hat? And you seriously oh, considered it? I remember this. Yeah, You're yeah, going yeah. to hatteries? I was. I went to a hattery, and the hat salesman was the most accommodating, gorgeous. Like I've never had a, like a real gay crush, but this guy was incredible. Was he made he, me. He was like. He was like. He took the hat picking experience and took it to like another dimension. I mean, he's been doing it for years. Yeah, but he, he was like, we have to think about like how the th- the hat fits in your life. Like it was a holistic hat fitting treatment. What accent like, did you do there? What accent did he? Yeah, have? what was that? I don't know. Z- 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 Middle Eastern. <laughs> what kind of hat was he wearing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hooked me up with that thing with the with the propeller. Uh, <laughs> 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 like you know, at the end of curtains, they have that like th- that frilly thing. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like uh, the little, the like the thing you that put was on, on the top of, of the hat. Yeah. Well, oh, fez. A fez. Did he get you a fez? Oh, was it a fez? <laughs> yeah. He's middle. <laughs> you sure you weren't, a, you weren't in a cab? <laughs> 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 I went to this hat store, and the guy told me I should wear a fez. He's like, yeah, no, it was a cab. I was in a cab. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's from Afghanistan. And then he took me to Union Square. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped me off. We had a day. What are we talking about? We're talking about height. No, you were talking about fried chicken. We got to this because of the fried chicken. I think we've started seven different conversations. It's fine. Let it happen. Jason, this is the pod, babe. Don't fight against the pod. There's like, there's like a, a stack of, iron- of conversations. We got a lot of irons in the fire, and we'll get back to them. Right. We're just tasting. Just. That's it. A little conversation buffet. My problem is I feel like they're mostly about uh, me and how I suck. You don't suck. The hosting was about you sucking. Everything else has not been about you. Right. But well, the that's not true. The height, the hair. Yeah, we were talking about that. The later. height, the hair. I'm not, I'm not standing up straight. I'm bad you're at hosting. Too, oh, the posture. Yeah, the posture. Yeah, 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 my height too. is too noticeable. Well, that was you. That wasn't us. Yeah, yeah. You brought that up. Yeah. Well, you're 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 you you you're a conduit so that it comes out in me. Look, you're too tall. <laughs> 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 let's talk about you tom let's talk about me yeah. let's talk about you yeah I'm, 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 the story we can get into we need to hear about this story you that's know, the, that's 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 an eighth conversation starter no that's the original conversation starter let's just keep starting conversation to the end Re- reach no resolution if you want to hear the end of this story go to i'll come back in three months <laughs> <laughs> You got to stay tuned every week and I'll come back for f- like three <laughs> minutes and tell a part of the story and it'll be like a multi-segment thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start the story and then in the middle we'll go to something else. Yeah, it'll be like a commercial break <laughs> where, where you cut to me telling the story by myself on like a different camera <laughs> and you just drop it in. <laughs> uh, no, but like seriously, tell the story. You, well, we had a, we, I was looking at apartments and I was in Jason's neighborhood and I called him. I was like, hey, what's up? Let's grab some Are food. Are you looking at Murray Hill? I was like in Murray Hill. Okay. And I, I went to this apartment, and it was me and uh, 13, 23 year old girls looking at one apartment. Not together, uh, but that was the other clientele. Yeah, right. It was 13 looking for that apartment, and you by yourself. And, and me. And I was like, I probably should, shouldn't be living here. But uh, yeah, we got, we got food. Went to a, I went to a mic later. Okay. And I was with Juan Nicolone, friend of the pod. Friend of the pod hasn't been on. Hasn't been on. His Shouldn't English be on. has to get better. Yeah, his, he can't speak. He, his English is as bad as Jason's height. Uh, that's that's how I feel about it. But I, him and I were going to go to a show at the tiny cupboard, and on the way there, he speaks tall. He speaks he speaks very tall. He's six nine. Well, the eight. words are very elongated yeah. because of his gay accent. He's, he's Ar- Argentinian. What is he? Hello. Uruguayan. Hello. Hello, I'm from uh, Ecuador. He's kind of a deep voice. This is good. Let's talk about people nobody knows. Yeah. We're just we're just hanging. You know, you know, I know you kind of reminds me of this guy, uh, Stephen Brownsend. Oh, Steve. I remember his uh his forehead? He's got the he's he got a, he's got like a six head. So many heads. Anyway, Juan and I are going to the tiny cupboard. Okay. I have to get my car from a parking garage and I start talking to this gal. Cute? In the parking garage. Asian? Great great bod, not Asian. Oh. And uh can't see her face because she's wearing a mask, and I invited her to the show. I was like, you should come. Are you performing on the show, Tom? I'm not. I was just going to go hang. Oh, nice. And she was like, I'd love to. Didn't make it to the show, but was texting me the whole time. She's like, eh, after the show, come to the East Village. We'll get a drink. Okay. It's like 12 o'clock. I get to the place, 12 o'clock. Bars are closed. She texts me. She's on her way. She's like, hey, mm. bars are closed. Yeah. Let's just go back to your place. All oh, right. And, but Tom, here's the thing. 
Yeah. You don't have a place. I don't have a place. Jason, he doesn't have a place. I don't have a place right now. I'm in between. I am living under a bridge. Didn't you know that by you looking at the apartment? Did you not meet at the apartment? We didn't meet at the apartment. We met later that night. And um, I'm like, I don't have a place, but this girl wants to go back to my place. So I have to make a decision. I've never seen this girl's face, Okay. but she wants to hang out. On the okay. Saturday night at 12 o'clock. On paper, Tom. On paper? Yeah. And Jason, I don't know if you'll agree with this. It's not It's not looking good. This, from your perspective? Or from my perspective, from what I'm hearing so far, it doesn't sound good. She might be a crazy person. And oh, I've, I thought ugly. And I've never seen her face. That's the more important thing. So what do, what do I do? Knowing you? Yeah. You invite her to your car. I book a hotel room. Without seeing her, I book a hotel room. Time you booked a hotel. What kind of hotel are we talking about? Uh, is it hotel, hotel, Hotel Indigo, in the Lower East Side. Tom, that's a nice. It's hotel. a nice hotel. Tom, that's a good hotel. It's a nice place. Is it Indigo? The whole room was blue. Was yeah. it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> the whole room was filled with Native Americans. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was filled with water. Yeah, it was a fish tank. Uh, so we go back to this. She she arrives, not wearing a mask. And it's uh, Mike Francesa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a, she's a good-looking gal. Okay. Turns out, and then we have a nice talk in the hotel room. We're drinking beers, having a good time. Drinking beers? We, the girl. I, I get a bunch of beers from a bodega, and I'm like, let's just hang out in the room. Okay. And I feel like a creep, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're having fun. And, you know. We're fast th- and loose. One thing leads to another. She put herself inside and, you. And she banged me. Yeah. She, she fisted me all night. How crazy would it be if she took off the mask and it was the Persian girl you previously loved? Oh, oh my God. And she got you back. She invited you for coffee, said oh. she didn't want anything else. Six months later, she got you back. Oh. Yeah, that Persian girl, huh? She, yeah, she had a big forehead. <laughs> she, she didn't. She, <laughs> she, she had beautiful hair. <laughs> but she's a bad person, Tom. That's what we have to remember. Debatable. Listen, here's the thing about when you want to buy a hat. <laughs> 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 Jason's still on the hat. Just want to make But sure I think the crazy part time. about this story is that I had to make a decision. The climax of the story was I put f- like a couple hundred bucks down on a hotel room without seeing this girl's face. It was okay. it was thrilling, I'll tell you. Can we break down parts of this story cuz I'll tell you we know Tom just not a storyteller. Can we break down <laughs> what you didn't need to include? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. We started it off about 15 minutes ago with you saying me and Jason got chicken. At no point of the story was Jason or the chicken involved. No, it wasn't. No. It wasn't. Then you said you went to look at apartments in Jason's neighborhood. And then Jason, I asked, did you f- meet the girl at the apartment? And Jason, I've never you- seen her. i never seen the girl. No, You want to know why? Because that wasn't a part of the story. That's tr- I, didn't finish the st- I didn't finish the story. I'm a bad host. Tom's a bad storyteller. Look, I didn't finish the story. That chicken that I ate that day, still up my ass. She shoved <laughs> it up there. Okay. Now say you, you came back and, and you Jason, won that one. And Jason came back and he was wearing a hat. <laughs> He came in as we were banging, and he was like, I finally got the hat. And the fucking Afghani guy with the fez on came in, and he said, we're doing it. Yay. What, look at that. It's real friends. Every callback we could have possibly had right there. Yeah. And Here's my question about the hat. And she said, he's too tall. <laughs> what? We just had a whole rampage about how you feel isolated with your height, and you can't stand up straight because you you don't see anyone else. Mm-hmm. So you're, you processed that, and you said, okay. What's a way for me to blend in? The tallest hat made. <laughs> no, I thought it would be like, uh, oh, you know, you know, when they see you see, oh, this is a tall guy, and eh, whatever. I, I see plenty of these guys, but if he has a hat, then it's like a little bit, you know, it's a little bit, bit more nuanced. Oh, there's a tall there's guy. Not a lot. Not, there's not a hat. A tall guy. There's not <laughs> not a lot of tall guys wearing tall. hats. Yeah. There's not a lot of tall guys wearing hats. I think we can. He's a hat tall guy. It's a, it's a little bit, so I, I want to go meet that guy. I want to know him a little better. You are more interesting if you're wearing a top hat. Just, I, I, but I will say I'll avoid people with top hats more than I'll avoid tall people. Shit. Do you avoid tall people? You avoid tall people? Not as much as people that wear top hats. But you do avoid tall people. You won't go talk to a guy with a top hat? 100% not. What if he's got one of those like uh, work aprons and like a mustache and like the circle glasses? Okay, so you're going for a look. <laughs> I can't grow the mustache. Are you trying to be the guy from Monopoly? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I've always wanted a monocle. (laughs) Do 
you have like a tailcoat or something or like a greyhound that I could walk around? Isn't that what the guy has on Monopoly? A cane? I, I, he, doesn't definitely doesn't a cane. he definitely doesn't have a greyhound. He definitely doesn't have a greyhound. doesn't have a greyhound. <laughs> and my Monopoly does. <laughs> Yeah, my, did you have a Greyhound version of Monopoly? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of the people have dogs. It's like, it's like regular Monopoly, but like the house has a dog. All, all of it's like a Shih Tzu in the prison. It's, but yeah. Here's a, here's a question I have. I'll keep the conversation going here. Here's a question I have. This is a scenario I was in. So I was hanging at the cellar on Wednesday, as I told you. Yeah, yeah. Went to see Louie, but then Louie didn't show up. That's a whole separate issue. Mm. But oh, wow. I still got the invite. Nice. Didn't have to pay. Shout out Eric Newman. And Nooms. I walk in and the the waiter asked me, do you want a beer? And I said, no, I'm fine. Um, I'm good on a beer. He asked, Eric, you want a drink? And he said, I'll take a vodka, soda, splash of crayon. Gay drink. So then the, bar, the guy looks back at me and he goes, are you sure you don't want a drink? And I said, you know what? Give me a beer. Ouch. I'll take a beer. I'm sorry, Jason. Okay, I'll, take, I'll take a beer. And he said, no problem. Gets me a beer. Eric has another drink. I have another beer. Show ends. We leave. I'm sitting at the table with old Steve Rogers. And he goes, how much you tip the guy? I didn't tip him. Why not? Should I have tipped? Yeah. Eric didn't tip. Did Eric pay? No. I, I don't mean, understand. I don't understand. Yeah. What? You don't tip? I would have tipped, but he I got pushed into the beer. Did you not tip because he was tall? Very short. Oh. Very short guy. Was he wearing a top? Was hat? he wearing a hat? He was wearing no hat. Hmm. Did he buy a hotel? <laughs> he did <laughs> he did not buy a hotel. <laughs> and he was not the shade of indigo. <laughs> <laughs> Every time somebody brings something up, Please just don't, don't just, just don't respond to what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't smoke weed? <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> this is a little bit different than the so usual. Why, why, why didn't you tip? Well, I didn't tip because Eric didn't tip. Once he gave me the second beer, he never came back. It was oh, the end of the back. show. He didn't come back. He was serving the rest of the comics, too. So he gives you comp beers. No, no. So you guys should he have gave tipped. me comp beers. If you give you a comp beer, you should tip yeah, once yeah. the beer, once the beer, the comp beer has arrived. That's you, what you think? think at the oh, end. Yeah. No, if it's table service, you do it at the end. Leave him like a. He was know, serving all the, the comics, and I was at the comic table. It wouldn't hurt to leave. I bumped into Colin Quinn, and he said sorry, and I said. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty crazy. That was pretty cool. But yeah, I did. Was I, it a firm bump? It was a pretty firm bump. I feel like he's a firm bumper. Yeah. Strong. He also did a whole set with an umbrella in his hand. I was like, that's pretty cool. Fuck. Yeah, that was really, yeah, he really it cool. As a prop? Nah, he just like pointed it around then, but it was a part of, he brought into the act. It was very cool. Yeah. So he uh, used it as like a wizard stick? Like a staff? He wasn't using it to the ability he could have used it, but he did not use it. He had a joke where he like hit it on the ground. It was like, you shall not pass kind of thing. He, that's what he said also. And then he also said, so me and Jason were getting fried chicken the other day. And then told the story that and didn't really go anywhere. Me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I think that's Tom's story. I was really hoping that story would have been better received. But. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of faults in it. That's no, the problem. That's fine. Are you banging, Tom? What's the, what's the deal? I mean, I told you. This was, this was two weeks ago. Yeah, but what's going on with the apps? He's, it's fun to talk to Tom about the apps, Jason. Oh, Why? I, I, the apps for me right he now. some wild characters. It's a wild, it's, it's been a wild week on the apps. It's been a wild week? It's been a wild week. I haven't week. checked in with you on the apps in, uh, been, in 12 hours. There you go. That's a segment. Tom. Tom on the apps. Tom, Tom, Tom on the, the apps. apps. All right, here's Tom on the apps. Tom on the apps, and it's just a scroll of me getting rejected over and over it's again. It's you in front of a green screen like a weatherman, and you're like, all right, on Monday we had... Yeah, it's just a picture of your smiling face and a finger just swipes left. Yeah, my face is like, uh, scroll down like... Ugh. It's just all the girls reacting to my face. Like, ugh, just ugh. a montage of different <laughs> female fingers swiping. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrible if you had like the replay of everyone going through your profile and like where they swipe left? No, that's what I want to know. That's right. the data you need. 
That's yeah. absolutely true. Yeah, you want to know where your faults are. Are you still hedge fund? Well, you're not on the apps anymore, but like you yeah. were at one point. Your wife? Yeah. Uh, you met her. Yeah, I know. It's been like two years. At I know one that. point, you were not like two years ago. You were on the apps, but you were not, not in a relation. No. And you were. We were talking about your profile and how you know we need you need to improve it. It needs some improvement. And you had like something on there, and it was just put finance. And um, what happened? I matched with an Asian, and that was my goal. It was me. I was on, and, and it was Jason, and he was wearing a hat. We met at a hotel <laughs> called Purple. Off blue. <laughs> Slightly t- teal green. We met at a hotel called Salmon. <laughs> Salmon's red. I don't know. I'm going for. <laughs> you just go for colors. Just going for colors. Whatever's in that Crayola box. Seafoam green. Uh, so what's going on in the apps, Tom? Uh, <laughs> this week on the apps, I was. You know, I try to be fun, try to be playful. You know, and I usually like over commit to the you know relationship right, right off right, top. Right. Like, oh, I bought you a ring, like that kind of thing. Like, uh, I'll return it. It's awkward. And I did a whole string of jokes, and this girl didn't respond. I was like, is this not funny? Or did you not read it? And she wrote. I know you're joking, but you're not funny. Oh wow! It was. I'll I'll be honest. Can you tell me the joke? Can we? Fill, can you tell do you me want what me to pull it, it up? Because I pull can. it up. Pull it up on the phone. I can pull it up. Should I be Let's, snuzzing if you guys are snuzzing? Uh, I've never sh- snuzzed before. I've, I'm shocked that you haven't snuzzed. I'm not a tobacco or smoke guy. I had an edible once and I couldn't move for it's six hours. For you. That's a story. Definitely. Isn't that good? No, it was like I couldn't move. Oh. Uh, you had paralysis. Yeah. I watched Elephant in the Room by Patrice O'Neill four times in a row. <laughs> and it was great. I had, and that was great. Yeah. But not moving was concerning. Yeah. That does happen. I think, it, I think, I don't know. I kind of like it. You like not being able to move for six hours. Well, I mean, it's different than what you usually do, which is are able to move. So at least there's some, there's like, there's a little, there's like a little contrast. It's a little, it's another, it's another shade of life, you know? I'm starting to understand your process behind things where it's like, oh, that's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's very much your process. Like, yeah, why is that the thing? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, <laughs> why'd you say that? Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that's not what you did there. <laughs> All right, Tom, what was the joke? First off, give us a name on this girl. Meryl. Look, they kept texting. Meryl? Meryl. Meryl, not Asian. She's Asian. Yeah, There's she Asian Meryl. Your name's Meryl? Yeah, you're She's Asian. You're Asian or you're 92. And it's spelled like Meryl Lynch. Right, like the bank. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, what she do for a living? She said it's... She's an art director. That's not a job. That's just not a job. I don't know what she does, but she said dating in the city is hard. And I said, well, it's going to be real easy for me and you. I can tell. That's no, cute. cute. That's fun. Cute, right? That's fun. Cute. And she said, how can you tell? We haven't even talked long. And I said, uh, three text messages isn't long enough for you. I guess I should return the ring I bought for us. Okay, it's fun. You're a big uh, bring up the ring immediately guy. It's just it's playful. Fun. It's fun I'm just being playful. It's just fun jokes. Just, just playful, and um, on top of being a bad storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> and then she passed over it, and I was like, "Did you not get that I'm playing around, or that I was joking?" And she said, "I know you're joking, but you're not funny." What's the emoji? Clown face. <sighs> She called me a clown. Called you a clown. And then I said, no, you're just boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Meryl. <laughs> Meryl, you're watching this? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Meryl. <laughs> little does she know you have a room at a little place called the Hotel, Hotel. Indigo. Uh, ever heard of it? It's filled with water. <laughs> <laughs> they serve beers downstairs. It's at a bodega. But <laughs> I'll bring up beer. So, and then she gave me the, the wave emoji. And I said, good luck, exclamation point. It's so ambiguous. I don't know what the clown emoji is supposed to mean. I think it's a uh, rub in his face. <sighs> but I'm, so clear- subtle. I'm clearly just being playful. You know what I mean? Just like she's what? not giving me anything and I'm just like messing around. Here's my question about the apps, Tom, because I was on the apps for a time. We talked about it, Jason. I was on the apps. I don't know if you heard. And See, you just chastised me for not being on the apps. I was like, are you on the apps? You're, You're like, spinning no. this, Jason. I don't know where I am. 
tell you one thing. You're interested in a hat. Big old top hat. Yeah, wear that hat. Every hat's too small. That's why I have a good old <laughs> hat store. Yeah, you can't wear a regular hat. That's what I'm saying. So now you know why I was at a hat store. You, you could have went to Lids. <laughs> they don't sell top hats at Lids, though. You would have been wearing a flat brim, half blue, <laughs> half red Yankees hat. You'd be fucking Puerto Rican for an afternoon. <laughs> don't you feel like Lids should sell? They should sell top hats. I mean, by the name, they should. Right. Yeah. Your one-stop hat store. But their market, their demo is like, bro. I think it's gone past, bro. It's very much Dominican at this point. That's the but demo. see, I see, I see Dominicans wearing fedoras all the time. Why don't Are they you just trying to wear a fedora? No, I wasn't trying to wear a fedora. I was trying to wear a top hat. How do they even fit you for a hat? Could they like measure your skull? I would I, I, out of out of the thousands of hats that were in the store, he could locate maybe three or four that fit my head. Really? What's your? Yeah. Do you know what your head size is? I have no idea. Pasta sauce pan. <laughs> Here, here's one for you he dumps out a bunch of <laughs> marinara sauce and he puts it on your head like oh perfect <laughs> <laughs> so you were on the apps so Jason I was on the apps and what I noticed is whenever you try a joke on the apps it never goes well so then what do the women want what do what kind of message do they want I have a I have a prompt <laughs> that is it's a good one. Can you tell me? It? Yeah, yeah. Do you, I'll read it. Oh, you have it. It's it's it is my you have a like go-to opener. It's my like you know on your profile you like read. They, so on they the apps you have an opener, but during your sets you got nothing. Nothing. Just okay. just riff <laughs> to the point where everyone's uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. Just not really establishing any kind of connection with the audience. Yeah. Yeah, you're extremely unlikable from the get go. From on the both get- of these things. From from the get go. Yeah, I'm really working uphill in every way. Yeah. Uh, it's. You should leave a comment if you're ready for the, quote, Tom of your life. It's fun. That's a, that's a winner. It's fun. I that's pretty a, good. I get a lot of LOLs in my inbox on that one. How many dates lead to that? What would you say your hit rate is? Hit rate is in the single digits. Yeah, well. Ber- Bermonti and I were talking about this. Bermonti's, first of all, he's 35, 36. I don't know if you knew that. No way. No, yeah. I didn't know that. That's really? wild. I just found that out, too. He really? was on the pod. Good guy. Pretty good episode. Yeah. He, Decent amount of downloads. He, Compare this. How about, uh, was this one better or worse than the Bramante pot? Well, let me put it this way. Bramante brought up how he didn't agree with Colin Kaepernick taking a knee, and I didn't think it'd go there. <laughs> <laughs> right so at, that's how good that episode like, went. <laughs> right out of the gate. He brought it up? Like halfway through. Like he had an and agenda I, to push. I, we were talking about something about sports. I was like, oh, your dad probably didn't like Kaepernick taking a knee, a knee. And he goes, well, here's the thing about Kaepernick. And I was like, oh, my God. And he's in the sports world. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm fired. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, and he got a Duke MBA, I also learned. Yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's knee, a- knee, knee Kaepernick. Is anybody said that? Knee Cap? Knee Kaepernick. Knee Kaepernick. Knee yeah, Kaepernick. Yeah. I feel like that's that's good. Yeah. Put that. So I didn't have it. He also goes out with like models. He goes out with some uh, smokes. Yeah. I feel like it's good in New York if you look like you own a boat. He has a jawline that supports that. Yeah. And his hair is very nice. He's got blonde hair. He looks like a guy, Ryan Gosling. But he's a beat. Uh, Where are you getting Kaepernick and boat? Hmm? What, what about Bramante? Kaepernick reminds you of boat? Wait, what are you talking? Oh, no. We're talking about Mike Bramante now. Oh, okay. I thought you said Kaepernick has a boat. He probably does. He, probably, he has the money. But I just wouldn't, you know, if you just looked at him, you wouldn't think he was a seafaring man. No, no. No. Are you saying that because he's half black, Jason? No, he just doesn't have the vibe, you know? I feel like if you're a seafaring guy, you're like, you got a beard, you're wearing a flannel. I think anyone who has an afro probably doesn't own a boat. Like, that goes for all races. That's, yeah. See, no, see, I, I don't agree with that. You could have an afro and own a boat. Hmm. I don't know if I bl- there is a zero, pi- zero pirates. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. No, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Jason Choi. Jason uh, Choi. And he, and people said he's a bad host. I am. He's got riffs like that up his sleeve. Book him. But yeah, Bramante <sighs> dates uh, uh, some smoke shows yeah. and then yeah. loses them in one to two dates. He's got a jawline like it's sharp, strong. You jawline. could cut cheese with it. Yeah, yeah. strong hairline. You could do one of those like early morning knife infomercials with Brandy's <laughs> chin, and he's just 
Just lop and wart. Cutting pineapples. Tin, <laughs> tin cans. Yeah. Like having it run over by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it stuck in like a fence, <laughs> using it to defend your house. <laughs> Someone breaks in, you got Mike Brabanti's jaw, like "fuck you, get the fuck out." <laughs> uh, I've been watching so many serial killer documentaries. That's why I'm thinking about that. It's, it's all the endings are the same. Yeah, yeah. There, it's always some guy who. Are there who, any serial? Um, that was going to be a stupid question. I was going to ask. Are there any serial killers who have not been caught? And the answer is yes. We yeah. just don't know. We don't know that they have killed the, all these people. All the good ones, right? Well, they they found that guy who was like the number one serial killer, and he's just been doing it for like thirty years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The California, Gold, Golden State, the Golden State. That book is fucking crazy. And you know who broke the story? Pan uh, Pan Pan yeah, yeah. Pan 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 wife. Yeah, yeah. Second wife. There's a documentary about her. Oh, no, and first wife. He's the first wife. Yeah, the dead one. Yeah, here she's definitely dead. Yeah, that's how he got the second from the book. <laughs> from the book. Imagine that being your pickup line <laughs> to your new wife. Is like, oh, you, oh, you're reading that book. Yeah, my uh, dead wife wrote it. You know who I used to bang? <laughs> that author. The author of that. Funny book. thing about the book you're reading. <laughs> also, I was Ratatouille. How are you, Pat? <laughs> He's prolific, huh? He does everything. He's good. Uh, Serial killer. Zero killer. The, the original Night Stalker was the one I just uh, good Ramirez, one. Richard Ramirez. Yep, that was a good one. That one's f- that one's crazy because he was like a Satan worshiper and he like believed that like Satan was like watching him and like protecting him through all of these murders over the course of like two years. Yes. Oh, it's crazy. Well, That's Ilya insanity. has that good bit about it now. I haven't Have seen it. Have you that. seen Ilya about it recently? Ilya, our good comic friend. Ilya Lyson, good comic friend. I posted his stuff on my story and no one clicked it. And uh, <laughs> the roast, the roast, yeah, the stuff? roasting. It was fantastic. Oh. I'm a bad host. Tom's a bad storyteller. Ilya's a bad joke teller. That's right. We'll have him on probably never. And yeah. uh, two he, of those things are definitely not true, but me being a bad storyteller hurts the most. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the only one about you. Yeah, I know. Uh, he has a joke about the Night Stalker, how there was a, a five year old girl who the Night Stalker raped and then murdered her parents. And then later in the documentary, they have her neighbor who witnessed it, and they labeled the neighbor as survivor. And he was like, oh, I think that five-year-old girl is more of a survivor (laughs) than that woman who walked outside and said, what's that? (laughs) (laughs) Who happened to witness it in passing? So did they follow up? They were like, did you, what did you do? You just went inside and... That was essentially what happened. That's bad. If I was the woman, I wouldn't be on the dock if that's what I did. Yeah. But she wanted she was very much on the dock. She was like one of the central people on the dock. That's a, but she stinks. She sucks. Did you, did the dock convey that feeling like, oh, this woman's a bad woman? Oh, no, uh, well, the neighbor wasn't on the dock that much, actually. I was thinking that you were talking about the, the actual five-year-old girl as like a grown-up. She's on the dock a lot. But. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, yeah. She like, recounts the whole story. Damn. Imagine if she was also an Epstein victim. Damn. <sighs> what are the odds? Maybe the most fuckable child <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Both a Night Stalker mm-hmm. and Epstein? That's a pedigree. Yeah, it's yeah. It's better than Harvard. You're trying to get all of them. Trying to get the Son of Sam in there, too. That's the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Son of Sam. And then she makes this sound. She now? goes, womp, womp. <laughs> <laughs> she just developed a terrific personality from it. Oh, she's so funny. <laughs> Gotta have a good sense of humor. So hot, so funny. Guys are going out with her like, I've never met such an attractive and fun girl. What? Why are you like this? And she's like, oh, do you have a Netflix account? Watch <laughs> any documentary. Watch any documentary I'm in it. Where are you been watching, start. Jason? You're into some weird shit. Am I into weird shit? I don't know. I haven't watched anything. I watch, I watch Twitch. You want to? I'm not a big Twitch guy. Yeah. Is that the movie with Adam Sandler where the, he's got the remote? No, it's a streaming platform for video no, games. No, I know. So, uh, Is that really what that movie was called? It's no. called Click. Click. I was about to <laughs> think that it was called Twitch. What an <laughs> awful movie, too. Yeah. Adam Sandler's just so good at acting, but the movie... I don't like the people who are like, I watched Click, and I, and you know what you know what happened to me? I actually cried. A lot of people say that. 
Right. Really? Yeah. You have you heard? This? I have heard yeah. this. When he's walking out of the hospital in the rain. Yeah. Because it's the type of person who's going in for an Adam Sandler movie about how they're shoving balloons up each other's butts, and have never mm. experienced an emotion in their life, and then they accidentally stumble into this, and they feel something, and they they feel weird. Kate Beckinsale's hot. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Kate hey, Beckinsale is in it. Yeah. Pete He's Davidson, Matt Reif. Pete Davidson's in twi- uh, Switch. No, na- no naming people. Kate Beckinsale's banged. Oh, Matt uh, Reif. I Matt thought Reif. he was a. Never mind. He's a comic. I, I, I know. I know. He's him. a young kid. You know him? Do you actually know? I him? don't know him, but no. he, he's got such a. He's got one of those, you know, sort of vogue kind of faces. He's hot. Yeah. He's a hot kid. Have you ever seen his stand up? I think one time. Did Did you really? Yeah. That Jeff Foxworthy show that Ian Lara was on. He was on it. Oh, really? On CMT? No. Remember that they had like a thing on NBC? <gasps> yes, I do remember that. And they told Ian to shove it up his ass, but then they passed the worst stand-ups yeah. imaginable. That was, that, was, uh, that was bad. They, were like Ian, they, they like, had like two seconds of Ian Lara, and, it was, and Ian Lara's great. He's fantastic. Another person no one knows. <laughs> and, then they were, and then they were just like, yeah, I think you need to work on that bit. And he's like, and you're like, no, nah, I know Ian Laura. He, he's doing this bit everywhere, and it right. crushes everywhere. Your your show is probably wrong. Most likely. You but it was on like Fox for like, not his people, not Ian Laura's people, right? I mean, I'd imagine like wasn't the yeah. right demo. Like it was. Yeah, middle America, fat, fifty five year olds aren't liking a small. You know what your biggest man. problem with that joke is? Is you're not Larry the Cable Guy. Can you be more Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> Can you be more Gabriel Iglesias? You did say you are some sort of Hispanic. <laughs> Can you be more like him? Can you gain 400 pounds? That guy has a whole museum of VW buses. Yeah. Wait, what? He's got this massive like Jay Leno-esque garage, but only VW buses. He collects them. Are, are they that much different than the others? No. <laughs> no, they're yeah, not. How many could there be? Wait, uh, and also, is this Chef Foxworthy or Gabriel Iglesias? This is Gabriel Iglesias. Or Ian Lara. <laughs> Ian Lara with a collection of... you think of maybe that's the only car that can support him? He's also the only comic that wears shorts on stage. Did you notice that? Yeah, that's actually true. Always. Always. Hmm. I think it's because people have accepted that like that's fat culture. It's true. Like, right. Shorts are fat culture. Long shorts, long like below long shorts. the knees, almost a khaki. Yes, yeah, that is fat culture with white, long white socks coming out yeah. of the shoes. That's yeah. fat culture. Yeah, because I think for a fat man, <clears throat> the way the the fat go, enters the calf, you can almost kind of fake that you have a a nice calf, but it's just mm. a fatty calf. It does look like it's muscle. It looks like a power calf. Right, you're like, oh, those are, well, yeah. but it's mostly fat. Yeah, doing squats. Fat sits really nice in the calf. For a fat person. For a fat person. For all people, I'll say. It's hard to get fat calves, though, unless you're, like, really fat. No, you, I mean, what's, what's a cankle, then? But that's what I'm saying. Like, to, be, to have a cankle, you are pretty fat. Like, it's not like, oh, uh, like, it's on, my, it's on my love handles. It's like, no, it's made its, all, it's, made its way down to your feet. Although I've seen, I've seen people who have cankles, but they're not fat. It's just the way their body decided to distribute it. I have seen a few people like that. The goal is to be very fat. If you're insensitive about cankle, insensitive you know, about <laughs> about yeah. calves. Do you feel the way that your your leg doesn't? It just goes straight. Do you feel that? <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> if if you want to get bigger calves, I should say you want to be very heavy and then lose the weight because you'll keep keep the calf the weight. calf. Yeah, because your calves are doing a lot of work when you're walking around because you're carrying so much weight. Around. Isn't that the same logic with the the same uh, with like breasts? Ooh, I don't know. Call us in if you can. I can't comment on that. That if you lose the weight, you keep you the, keep the, you keep the boobs. That's not. I don't think that's right at all. I know. I think it is right because you've seen heavy set women who have slimmed down and they tend to they tend to keep the boobs. When you when have you seen like a real fat woman lose weight and then she goes to a cups? But they usually don't lose that much weight. I can tell you that they're not as perky. That's a hundred percent true. The the, the sagginess, ha- the hang, the, the, hang the, yeah, the, the gravity's the, done the, done its work. The downward velocity of the gravity. 
I love that, that. That is another concept that I love so much. Just like living so mm. long. That, like, physics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the scientific discipline of <laughs> physics. But just the way like <laughs> slow moving physics just causes your balls to slowly. Yeah. Just that it's like it's like you know like the ocean where the waves keep. Just little eroding, by little eroding. eroding. Yeah. So, so like gravity is just with your balls just over time. It's very peaceful. Right. Yeah. There's something and it just, I always, uh, you ever think about this? Like how much your ball moves per. Oh, how they just kind of like f- float in space or. Or like, you know, like on, on, on the journey to like an old man's, you know. Sack. Sack. Right. Like every year, like something like there's some moment in time where some piece of skin like loosens. Oh yeah, and another wrinkle happened. You're saying right, and it just doesn't. It kind of doesn't go back, and it just years, decades, children. Well, that's why every year I, I Botox my balls, <laughs> make sure they're real tight and taut. That's what you got to grow at uh, Hotel Dave Chappelle, s- smooth as eggs. <laughs> 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 they are like eggs. They're not balls. They're like ob- oblong. Oh we're, yes, we're talking the shape of testicles now. The balls themselves. <laughs> yeah. Inside yeah. the sack. They're like they're like orbs. They're not balls. No. But the no. oblong doesn't really doesn't really ring true, you know? It's good yeah. marketing on the balls part. To yeah. say, yeah, we're we're around. <laughs> who, no, you're not. who put you up to this? Big balls? <laughs> big balls. I'm sponsored by big balls. <laughs> Don't let anyone know they're oblong. <laughs> Keep pushing the narrative. <laughs> we got a marketing campaign out and we gotta make this stick. You're a ball lobbyist. <laughs> ball That's right. He's moving to Washington D.C. <laughs> I sit down with Mitt Romney. <laughs> Look, Mitt, we got a ball. Bo- we got a ball situation on our hands. People are about to find out. I had when I used to work at the hospital because a lot of women had their tops off around me. Shout out breast cancer, and there were women <laughs> who were very heavy, but then they would get the reconstruction surgery, and they would opt for smaller breasts. And that looked weird. Oh, they're heavy and then go to smaller breasts? It's like it's like when you have a car and if all your tires went flat and they just replaced it with replacement tires. It's uh, like, yes, these are functional. But you you look silly. But you can't tell a cancer patient like, hey. That's what I'm saying. I can't. You look what silly I'm, here. Maybe it's a good thing you don't work there anymore. You should have told them that. We found wow. what Rich is bad at. <laughs> yeah, patient being care. warm. Yeah, <laughs> bedside manner. Gener- generally caring about people's feelings. <laughs> you look bad. <laughs> your tits look silly. I'm glad you don't have cancer anymore. But I just want to let you know your tits look silly. I'm sorry this was an ordeal for you, but you're scarred for sure. <laughs> well, I'm, I've been trying to work this out on stage, and it hasn't worked out well because it's very cold. It's the first patient I ever saw was a 90 year old nun, and she had a double mastectomy. And it was like seeing 9-11 again. It was like, here were, here is two holes where two towers used to stand. Uh, and now we oh. get it just visited Yeah, I can see Hispanics. why it doesn't work. Yeah. It, yeah, I know why it doesn't work well, but I wrote it. So I have to try it at least 20 times. And then the plastic surgeon built one boob. Giant boob. One yeah. giant boob. And you have to wear a mask to see it now. <laughs> There's a souvenir shop at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember boob number one and boob number two. <laughs> and Al Qaeda's in a cave somewhere. Like, ah, oh, we gotta knock down that big, big boob in the middle. Yeah, like, a, <laughs> like, a, like, like in her pussy. It's just like a little, it's like a little Osama bin Laden, like in her vagina in the cave. <laughs> oh. all, all the names of the people that were inside are engraved on the edges. <laughs> They start broadcasting, <laughs> start broadcasting Yankee and Met games from the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's, People got great radio signal. it's got great radio signal at the top yeah. of this thing. There's like Italian mobsters and they're like, get rid of the body and like her eyebrow. Yeah, you lost me on, lost me on that. Did, does the Italian mob that's rent the, space on? Uh, no, that's the metal. It's the metal lance. Yeah, it's the metal lance. Metal lance. Metal, metal lance. lance. Okay, so you're, you're, you're going into the tri-state area. Yeah, I'm trying to map the entire Tri-State area under this, <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this nun's body. This nun's body who's been through so much. So tell me about this show you hosted for Tobin. Oh, Tobin. What did he say? He talked shit? No, he called me. He's like, Choi thinks he's a bad host. And he's like, it's all in his head. No, we, no, no, no. We got into a spat. 
You were toping out to a spat? No, it was my fault. Exclusive. Bish, the goss. Exclusive. No, there's no goss. Nobody even knows Tobin. We keep mentioning people nobody knows. Tobin's, Tobin's been, been on, on the, the pod. pod. Tobin's been on the pod. He's been on twice. There's yeah, no, there's no continuity. When, when's the last time you were on a pod? You listened to a pod where the one guy was here and then you're like. Jason, no one listens to this pod, though. Tell the goss. It's just for us. No, it was talking. my fault. You know, sometimes you get you get too you get too hot in the moment. So I was being oh, okay. I was being immature. Kind of like when we were in Chattanooga and yeah, you yeah, yeah. almost booked a plane ticket home after. Oh, fill us in on that story. I was very that close. That story, not that story, like the trip. Like what? How, how was that? It was a, it was an enlightening experience. Jason okay. did great. When Jason the whole- says that something bad happened. <laughs> when Jason no. puts his positive spin on things, that's when the worst <laughs> thing happened. <laughs> it was enlightening. It was enlightening. No, you just caught you just. It's a different part of the country, and and people just you know are different. Yeah, I, no. I witnessed racism towards Jason secondhand. Right, I mean a lot, so I couldn't I I couldn't imagine what it was like for you. Oh, hey, fill me in on some examples here. No, it's 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 this it's the soft, excited type of racism. Oh, like you're so rare type of racism. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah, where, where, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like where, a, where, <laughs> I was, was going to say a racist thing that I didn't think was racist, but I caught myself. I was going to say, like, if a panda walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> that's a rare thing. I, I know. No, walked in. It's like a it's like a it's a predicament because you you're like, oh, this is racist. But then they're like excited and like happy. And they're like, oh, see how we're like we're buddy buds. Yes. I also know another Asian guy who looks like you. See, we're friends. But you're like, that's not a way to approach a guy. Right. Like the rib place. That was the situation I'm thinking of. The rib place, yeah. The more frustrating thing about that was the, the, we, we get these ribs from these people. Good ribs? Great. Unbelievable ribs. Shout out to the ribs. Unbelievable ribs. Fantastic. But then the people, they, while we're eating the ribs, decide to come join us. I don't like that. To that's sit down I, at the, t- the waitress the, sat down at the table with us. How many other people were in this establishment? No one. No, no one. Uh, see, that's your first mistake there. So we're we're the three of us sitting there, and this, and this is where you're like, is this is this the southern politeness that people are talking about? This is this is not. I, I don't mm. like this at all. Is this polite? You give me the food. I don't. I don't need you. <laughs> that she walked up to you and said, "You want some chopsticks <laughs> with that?" <laughs> close. <laughs> Honestly, close. Yeah. I mean, f- I'm fairly close. Are you gonna say we what she think. said? Or you're not gonna say what she said. You I'm, gotta, not, I'm not gonna go into it. No, let's just, you know, I'm a tall Asian man. You can guess. It's your opener. That's right. I would say this. They weren't racist enough for me to not eat the ribs. I ate all the ribs. Right. The ri- I mean. That's how good the ribs were. I, but isn't I that the South? The ribs, no matter how racist the South is, the ribs will always be better. Yes. But then that, that's, the, that's, that's why I thought it was enlightening, you know, because then. You like look at the whole racism thing, mm-hmm. but then you look at the intention of these people. They're not they're not trying to like be alienated and cast you out. Right. They're truly trying to make you feel at home. Right. In the worst way, the opposite way. <laughs> the problem is at home, you don't walk in and your dad goes, I know someone that looks like you. <laughs> yeah. And I've seen him in movies. Yeah. And then you name every person who's Asian in movies. <laughs> yeah. How there's Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Who else is there? No, they go. The one thing, the, the the hilarious thing that happened was she 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 comes out and she's like, you know, when I first saw you, I thought you were that guy from Rush Hour. No fucking right? way. Okay, so then I go Jackie Chan, and she's like, no, 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 not Jackie Chan. <laughs> Chris, she said like Chris Tucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she's like, no, no, no. There's a guy in the dojo in one of the scenes where he's just spinning another guy. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. She's like that, and I'm like, no, I don't. You mean Jackie Chan? To so the like, whole no. table. She goes around the whole table. You know who I'm talking <laughs> about. Everyone's like, no, we have no idea who you're talking about. She's like, no, no, no. He's in the dojo spinning. Oh, you know, movie Mike. Movie Mike knows who this guy is. Then she leaves. Okay. And we're, and we're goes like, into the wait, kitchen. Movie Mike is an employee. An employee. employee. Establishment. Goes right. in back inside because we're sitting outside. Whose name is Movie Mike? She calls him Movie Mike. <laughs> then about three minutes later, she comes out with Movie Mike. And she's like, see, isn't this the guy from the dojo? <laughs> And he's like, what was his name? What was his name? And Mike's like, I don't know his name. But yeah, <laughs> Movie yeah, yeah. Mike doesn't even know. Movie Mike doesn't know the name. He's like, no, no, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. He's the guy in the dojo spinning around. I'm like, all right, I'm the guy in the dojo. 
It was funny because she was being racist and then brought in another guy to, to be also just as be racist. as racist, but also couldn't put his finger on it. Right. That's either someone that just watched Rush Hour or someone that's only seen five Asian people in her life on movies or in real life. Both. That's yeah. That's what. It, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what it is. Yeah, it was both. But then you and then and then you're like trapped in this, and you're like, okay, should I? Is this? Should I start? You know, fighting against this? But then you're like, no, they're 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 excited. They're like doing. They're like, this is a grand old time. Wait, they're, they're like, texting their friends, like. Yeah, they're like okay. having a good time, and they think you're you're like part of it. And you're like, nah, shit. That that's the biggest. That's the biggest. The thing, thing that I've learned about secondhand from being around, being with Jason, and seeing people being racist to him is that almost everyone has seen the Rockets in the early two thousands, and has seen Rush Hour. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Those are their only two references. That's true. <laughs> they either check quote Jackie Chan or the Rockets from the nineties. How crazy would it be if they were trying to point you out and then movie Mike go- looks at Jeff Greenspan and goes, I seen you on TV. And he thought he was Anderson Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> we got Anderson Cooper and the big Asian guy from Rush Hour here. Who knew they were friends? He's only watched like five TV shows and he just does this to everybody. <laughs> Their frame of reference is so small. That's what I think I've learned is that like the middle of the country has no idea about uh, Asian people. Right. They think... I've been thinking about this lately, not for like a bit, just thinking about this, that the middle of the country has, people say it has no culture, but it does have a culture. It's that. Exactly. Not great culture, right. but that's the culture. It's like if you d- dug through the DVD bin at any gas station, like <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what they're pulling from. Yeah. But then you, you but then that's why I'm saying you got to, you got to kind of go with what they're trying to get at you, you know? Not what they're right. what they're going with, because then you then you're like, uh, fuck all you guys, and then they're like, oh, this this Asian guy's not a nice guy. They're all like that. They're all not nice. Right. And then it just, you know, on and on. Yeah. You were very nice to them though. Is that you why like you it? wanted to take a plane trip home? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> wanted to take a tri- plane trip home because Jeff wanted to put me last at the end of a three and a half hour mic. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah, and I, and I was just like. I don't want to. I flew here. Jeff had no feel. Yeah. He was but it was a misunderstanding. I got too hot. Did you get off the plane, got to his place, and he goes, all right, you ready for a spot? You're like, yeah. He goes, all right. There's four people in there. They've all seen Rush Hour. And they want you to go up after three and a half hours. No, we were like, I know why it happened. It happened because the first show slash Mike we did, like Jeff put – Jason early and I was like maybe put him towards towards the end like Jason's a competent comedian and Jeff was like got it and then like the next mic put him four hours at the end of the mic yeah I was just like overcompensated but it's not Jeff's fault it's not Jeff's it's nobody's fault right you know it's one of those it's yeah again it's one of those he tried to do the right thing he was very much like those rib people that's right (laughs) everybody's just trying that that's the whole point here you know in these days everybody's trying their best and you know I, I and try, failing and failing failing really hard <laughs> and that's why we're canceling everybody because nobody can <laughs> nobody can do it nobody can nobody can be good enough right that's the problem we all suck and then you like want the people who have a platform to be good but they're just like you in so th- some other way right yeah so they suck everybody sucks and we have this fantasy that they're the good people. Right. There's no good people. Everyone's just fucking up, left and right. Yeah. And as long as you have a kid, you just tumble. It just tumbles on. Can't win. And Jason's just the punching bag because he's all of these things. Like you're, you're all of the things that people like. They want to do the right thing. They want to help you, but they're they're hurting you. Yeah. That like the the whole the whole Yao Ming thing has been like a whole saga. Because I used to be I used to be angry and bitter. Mm-hmm. So then people would be like, "Oh, do you play basketball?" And be like, "No, I play mini golf," you know, <laughs> just like me. Just and then they're like, "Why are you so rude to me?" You know, right? And you're like, "Cause I got you're the ninth person today." Right. Exactly. But they but they don't see that. Right. That's what I realized. They they just think you're an ass. Like why are you people being are asshole? stupid? People are see, genuinely when I went, stupid. When I went down south for school, like Luciano being my last name, like Southern people would come up to me and be like, "Oh, what are you a real Italian?" 
hoo, 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 like, and then we do like an Italian Luciano. What are what, like try to do that shit? And it was like that's I see what you're trying to do. You're trying. You've never met an Italian person. The best thing was your heckle when you were in the outfield at what was it, Clemson? Clemson, yeah. That was the best. Hey, Luciano, what are you? Some kind of Mexican? (laughs) 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 Like a genuine, like a genuine question from someone from South Carolina. (laughs) Like honestly, I I couldn't even be offended because I was like, I don't know if you're serious. (laughs) That's a man who's so lost in the weeds. Yeah, probably. (laughs) He just doesn't. I like honestly thought I was like, do you not? Have you not been to a library? Have you not met any person with a vowel in their last name? Hey, it's me. Hey, Tommy Luciano. Hey, people still do that. Like they'll come up to me like, "Hey, Luciano, Paisano." But like, well, it doesn't help that the one of the biggest mobsters ever. I know had that last name. <sighs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. doesn't help. I got free fries because of that the other week. Did you really? Yeah, I went to uh, Five Guys, which we can get into later. Put a pin in Five Guys because. Oh. Because I've got thoughts on five, five Guys. But the guy handed me the bag and was like, there should only be four. There should only be four. He said that. He said there should only be four. <laughs> <laughs> There's only four of us. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they give you a discount. He's like, there's only three of us back here. He said, it's, he said it's on the house only because you're a made man. And I was like. Did he seriously say that? He said that. And I thought he was joking. And he was like, he winked at me. And I was like, yeah, the fucking uh, Pene La Vaca family. That's where we're from. Yeah. But everyone thinks Italian people are in the mob. So it's a similar kind. Of, it's not the same. It's not like racism, but no, it is. It's a similar kind of like people trying to connect and like just doing it poorly. I went yeah. to Chipotle under Tim Riggins and I got it for free. And the guy said Texas forever. <laughs> so that's not racist at all, but that's the time I got free food. That's why I order all of my food under the name Caitlyn Jenner. It's always get stuff for free. That's right. Caitlyn Jenner 2022. She, is it really 2022? Or 24? When she, when when she running for governor? I don't know. Uh, isn't it 22? I thought it was 22. I feel I, like it's so early. What I do know is I always show up to the door with a mangina. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure I win a gold medal in the 70s and then transition 35 years later. I'm great at the decathlon and I kill a kid with my car. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're fucking <laughs> dead. People talked about that, huh? Already? Not really. She did that. She did do that. Oh yeah, Ricky Gervais had the Ricky Gervais closed the book on with the with his joke. Oh, what did he say? He's like, you know, uh, you know, uh, Caitlyn Jenner, trans, you know, Sports Illustrated Woman of the Year. She's like done an amazing thing for like forwarding the trans thing. Didn't do much for women drivers. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. That's great. That's right down the middle, huh? That's yeah, everyone, yeah, everyone that. can laugh well, at that. Not? I mean, yeah, not the kid. They're dead, yeah, well, but everyone else. Yeah, the, fam- the family's not the family's not pleased. Do you think the family's transphobic now that that happened? Or, or they just hate women. Oh Yeah, all women. <laughs> and women are like, no, that's not really a woman. And then they're like, whoa, what do you mean that's not really a woman? I think it's in the whole bag. Uh, uh, uh. All right. That's it. We did an that's hour. That's a pod? We did an hour. That's an hour? Yeah. Are, yeah. We, are we ending on the trans thing? That seems... Is that our fun? <laughs> is that the closing You want to elaborate on the five guys and then we'll end? I just don't think it's that great. It's okay. Like of all of the places that are like hyped up in terms of burgers, like you got In-N-Out, you got Shake Shack, there's all... And like people include five guys. It's like, it's not a good burger. Oh, well, I don't think Shake Shack's great. You don't think Shake Shack's great? I don't no. think Shake Shack's great. Really? What's your opinion? What's really? the best place? I think, I think, you know, and I'm like an East Coast guy through and through. In-N-Out wins... If it's in and out for a Shake Shack, then I'm sorry. No out. way. I've never been in and out. The ingredients, the preparation, say. the customer service at Shake Shack is top notch. Yeah, but you're spending you're spending at least seven, eight dollars for okay. for like a slider. Yeah, we're if you're talking about price Report. in the equation, then definitely. But in terms of like pound for pound like fast food burger, it's it's better than a lot of them. I think Burger King is better. We've oh, about, okay. Now I really now, like Burger King. Yeah. I'm a bur- we've talked about this. I'm a Burger King guy. Do you remember the Smokehouse, some, the Smokestack Burger from Burger King? We were in high school, Jason. I don't know if you was that onion that. rings and there's on, yeah, onion ring barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. And there's one bacon. other ingredient I'm looking for: jalapeno peppers. No, but that was on oh. it. I mean, bacon. We didn't. I mean, we said bacon. bacon. Mashed potatoes. Mashed what, potatoes. Wait, 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 what yeah. Burger King were you living in? Sayasa, New York, Jericho Turnpike, Smokestack Burger, <laughs> Burger, Cheese, Jalapenos. Fried onions, mashed potatoes on the I've, burger. I've never heard of Burger King. 
ever having mashed potatoes. I think you're making this up. I think you're making it up. They, they would have to create a new supply chain to get mashed potato to every burger. <laughs> and then they go, no more, never again. Jason, the years of 2008 to 2011 were completely shifted around this burger for me. Do you not understand that? <laughs> There were I believe was this there when you were 400 pounds? 300. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not inflate the numbers, all right? Uh, no, there was 100%. Because I walked in there one day, and I said, "Is that? does that say mashed potatoes on the burger? They said, it does say that. <sighs> I, think I, so. don't, I don't think, I don't you're, think right. That, you're right. I think sometimes Burger Kings go rogue. The guy's like, you know what? This I think this needs mashed potatoes, and he just does it. Are you implying franchise. that you sure they what? mashed their own potatoes at that specific burger That's King? what I'm saying. Are, are you sure it wasn't just a they really shitty bun? <laughs> yeah, it was just a moldy <laughs> underneath. <laughs> <laughs> just a wet, moist, clumpy bun. <laughs> Rich, that's a soggy bun. Like, oh, <laughs> all these mashed potatoes. <laughs> just wet bread. <laughs> Did I not mention I brought the mashed potatoes? <laughs> I thought I mentioned that part. He's dolloping on everyone's <laughs> burger. Uh, but yeah, no, it did. Okay, so you you got this a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, for like two or three years. See, I'm how a many, big burger. How many have you eaten? How many think you've eaten in your lifetime? Oh. Thirty-five to forty. See, that's that's a low count. How many whoppers have you eaten? None. I've never had a whopper in my no. life. I've only had like two, three Big Macs in my life. What? I go mm. qu- double quarter pounder if I'm at McDonald's. Yeah. Sure. I go yeah. double quarter pounder, uh, McDouble. And a fish fillet. A fish fillet? fillet? No, I like a fish fillet. No. Fuck yeah, dude. I like a fish fillet. I don't, f- I don't fuck with fast food fish. It's in my next album. <laughs> What's the difference? What do you mean? It's fast food fish. It's still meat. No, it's not. The meat's not meat either. Fish is harder to keep fresh and it's, healthy. It's not because I get it a lot. They're doing pretty good. I believe that you are healthy despite eating that shit, but... It's just a frozen thing. It's the I, same I, I, meat. I, mentally, I can't get over None it. None of it's real, though. I don't even want to argue with you guys because you're not wrong. I just mentally have a block about eating fish at a McDonald's. I think you're wrong. I mean, the yeah. king of all sandwiches, fast food sandwiches, as we know, is the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. A very good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. The king? I wouldn't say it's the king. Of all fast food sandwiches, yes. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a stretch. I think you, that's a stretch. Even Chipotle. I mean, not, not Chipotle. Uh, Chick-fil-A. You want to go? You want to? You want to compare chicken sandwiches? I I'm not a big fan of Chick Fil A. I'm a huge. I fan won't of go out of my way for Chick Fil A. I I'm sort of in agreement with you there. Uh, there there like t- there's 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 a fervent Chick Fil A thing that I'm I'm not a. It's I'm not good. a fervent. Yeah, exactly. It's good. If it's there, I'll get it. Yeah. But I'm not. Uh, there's 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 people who are really going out of their way for this Chick Fil A. There's lines like everywhere in the tri-state area for a Chick Fil A sandwich. It's wild. Also, can I? Bring this up because you brought up customer service before. It's too friendly of service. I will not go to a Chick Fil A because they'll talk to me too much. Yeah, that's this. That's this. That was the Chattanooga. That's the South thing. I think them talking to you. It's like them being polite. That's why I thought it was interesting. Like our rudeness is like their politeness, and their politeness is like our rude. You know, in New York, if some guy comes up to you and starts, you know, having a chat, you're like, get the. What, what the fuck? Want? What, yeah, you yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right. By the, by the end of that uh, tri- uh, Chattanooga trip, I brought a broom to every place we went out and just fucking hit the waitress in the face. Like, get the fuck out of here. They would right. like try to. They would literally try to sit down and talk to us about our week. Like, how how's your family doing? It's like you don't know me. Please stop this. There's like, nothing worse than that. But that's what I'm saying. Then you go down. And you have that attitude. And you're like, uh, you northerners. Right, right. They're like you northern. You know, mean. People. I they were all like, black women. <laughs> well, is, that a, is that a black? Yeah, they're all snapping. They're all white women. They did the neck thing back and forth. Oh, that's not necessarily black. That's that's just the thing, you know. Hey, you piece of shit. I've never been to Chattanooga, so I can't, I can't I can't retort back to that. I felt myself being meaner by the time that trip was over because I didn't want to encourage their friendliness. Yes. Yes, because New Yorkers, there's a thing in New York where you keep to yourself, which you like. You gain a preference for it because it's, it's fair. You know, you don't got to pretend to be anybody. You just be yourself. It's nice to be mean because it's efficient in New York. Right. You're saving someone's time by not talking to them. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Jason and I at that rib place ordered $40 worth of ribs. Like we hadn't eaten all day. Like the only thing we wanted to do, I don't want to speak on your behalf. The only thing I wanted to do was sit down and eat ribs. And I had to entertain a conversation about 
Jason being uh, not in Rush yeah, Hour. For being a side character in Rush <laughs> Hour. At least make me Jackie Chan. Yeah. <laughs> give, me, give me the lead. That's, that's honestly where I thought that conversation was going when she came out. She's like, um, you were in Rush Hour. And she's like, Jack, J- no, please just say Jackie Chan. Just please say it. So this ends. And she didn't. It ended up being a 20-minute conversation. But that's why, it, yeah, that's why it's just so interesting. No wonder we fought a war. Just completely. I think it was over something else than a. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't remember what the hey war guys. was. I don't remember what the war was about, but I think it was about politeness in restaurants. In a way, it was about politeness. Jefferson Davis was like, "That Abe Lincoln is a rude guy." <laughs> <laughs> the battle, <laughs> the battle of Gettysburg was just people from the north being like, "Stop talking to us." <laughs> And the Southerners are like covered with muskets. Hey, so, you know, my brother was down uh, uh, going fishing the other day. <laughs> you ever see that movie with Chris Tucker? I can't remember the name of it. Let me go back and talk to one of my friends. And the guy comes up and he's like, uh, what the fuck is the name of the guy with Chris, Chris Tucker? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Just like battalions of Southerners coming to tell, tell you stories about their relatives. And the Northerners are like, hey, st- get back. Shut up. Just shut up. We just want to eat in peace. <laughs> we'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> Come on. We just want to talk about your family. You want some sweet tea? <laughs> we just, we no, just, no, no, no. We just want to talk. Shut Stop the fuck coming. Up. The liberal media wants you to think that the Civil War was about slavery. No. <laughs> it's about etiquette. <laughs> it's about telling stories about families. <laughs> it's about not sitting down at the table with your customers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good way to end the pod. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. That, felt, that, that was... I was, was going to say, can they uh, find you guys anywhere, but you have no social media presence? No, zero. Not Tom Luciano. I'm yeah, on but Twitter. you don't post shit. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Find me. You can find him. Jason's also on Jason R. Choi. Am I right with that? I'm at Jason R. Choi. You're right? hard to find, and I'm friends with you. I posted a bio. Pretty and a good. picture of you in bed? Yeah, as a child. Yeah, you might want to update that. I've got... It doesn't look much different than he looked now. I've got social media materials coming on the way. You've got some good yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's been saying that for a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time you've been doing comedy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it.